let's be honest. I never cried to three birds. Let's be honest. I am a man. We're going I'm back in time the to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off. Do I own at this point? Anyways, happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and perfect timing too, because now it's time to review Freebirds. Wait a minute, what date is it today? Well, shit. I missed the goddamn due date, and the fucking meme's probably dead too. God damn it, man! I wish someone from the future would have warned me about this. Wait a minute, that's it! I'm gonna find the greatest minds and make them build me a time machine. So then the Thanksgiving special actually makes the fucking sense. And I get a chance of my video doing well in the algorithm. In other words, I'm going back in time to last Thanksgiving to make this video relevant. That's right. I'm going back in time to last Thanksgiving to, to make this video relevant. Hey, Ghetto Smosh, do you know how to build a time machine? I guess I just know you guys now, I guess. Hold up. Who the fuck is you again? I'm a uh, the guy you just met. Oh yeah, <laughs> my bad. Weed gives me short-term memory loss. Oh shit, I wouldn't know. I'm a straight edge. Look, I just need a favor from you guys, all right? Whoa, 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 wait. Hold on. Who the fuck is you again? You know what? Fuck this. I just need a time machine so my YouTube video can be relevant, okay? A time machine? We ain't got one of those. Man, I can barely afford paper to wipe my own ass. How the fuck we gonna build a whole ass time machine? All I know is them shit's expensive. Well, do you guys at least know anyone? Hey, wait a minute. I only know one person who got a time machine. Let me make a phone call real quick. Family guy, I am Stewie Griffin. And what's good, Stewie? You gotta help us, all right? I'm wondering if your ass can help us build a time machine. Because this motherfucker wants to go back in time for some reason. It's called ad revenue. Well, what a coincidence. Because I have just invented a perk 40 that can transport us to another time. A perk? Ah, oh, shit. I've been trying to be straight edge. Well, you're going to be gay edge by the end of this. Well, here goes nothing. Mmm, this perk ain't shit. <laughs> Man. That perk? Oh, that shit got me Fuck, dog. Where am I, anyway? Wait, is that gameplay footage behind me? Where am I? I'm the Sun Amy. Oh God, player. fucking damn it! Hey, are you me? No, I absolutely am not. Hey, want to cyberbully Sonic fans with me? I want you to shut the fuck up. Are you guys ready to control <laughs> your cock? Because I'm ready to travel back, back in, in time, time to the, the first Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Get... Freebirds is a 2013 animated movie created by Real Effects. Wow, what a charismatic name. They would go on to make the Book of Life. A movie that I've never seen, but Radiohead's Creep is in it. I'm sure Tom York is very happy about this. This movie has also been reviewed by you motherfucker. It was a bomb at the box office. But you know what? So was Blade Runner, and that movie is literally me. So I hope y'all are ready to control your cocks and travel whoa, back whoa, in time whoa, to the whoa, first. This is my review of Free Birds. Whoa, did Chris Chan write this? Shut the fuck up. The following film is a work of fiction. Oh, hell no. It's an Assassin's Creed game? No. Except for the talking turkeys. That part is totally real. Oh, thank yes, God. Yes, I was yes, worried yes, for a minute. Yes. So our film opens with Owen Wilson talking about the holidays. Holidays. The whole world loves them. Central theme of the movie. Everyone loves them. Christmas. Easter. Hanukkah. And don't bring that last one up to Kanye, though. He might have a final solution for it. I, guess, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to... I think there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. So we cut to a giant Thanksgiving meal and Owen Wilson being scared of being eaten. He then goes back to the other turkeys, but it turns out they don't believe him. Oh, thank God this movie's derivative. I was worried for a minute. So the main character of Lightning McQueen is a Reddit atheist who doesn't believe in turkey paradise. So I guess this movie is a critique against religion or something? Our world is made of corn. Fire corn! That's an awesome theory, but I think they actually call that the sun. So the main character is just a fucking heretic now. Mm, the very interesting, bold move. So long story short, his atheism gets him kicked out of the turkey coop, where he is suddenly taken by the daughter of the president of the United States of America, where he is announced to be the pardoned turkey, which is a real thing in America. You know, I really don't get my country sometimes. They then go in this helicopter and a divorce joke is made. That's Paul. He's getting a divorce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Also, this girl is fucking hideous. In fact, the animation overall is kind of janky. It gets really close to like alpha and omega levels. It's just not very pretty. So they take the turkey to Camp David. Is this movie like a military psyop or something? We then see knockoff Powerpuff Girls. You know, I kind of respect the fact this movie is totally unhinged. Lightning McTurkey then watches a Spanish soap opera. And he has a giant literally me awakening. One night orphan, Alejandro, is thrown out of the orphanage for being different. I threw him out too. I know exactly how that feels. This is how men feel when they watch Fight Club for the first time. First rule of Fight Club is to have fun and be yourself. So the turkey orders pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Okay, and he considers himself to be he El Solo Lobo, be something he picked up from his soap opera. Yo soy El Solo Lobo. <laughs> Solo Lobo. So, uh, literally me moment. But then he's kidnapped by this guy. He's played by Woody Harrelson, so that's what I'll call him. If you don't know who he is, he was Carnage in a... He then reveals that he got a great message from the Great Turkey. Who gave him a doorknob and who gave them one simple mission. To go back, back in time to, to the, the first, first Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving to, to get, get turkeys off, off the, the menu. menu. That's right. They're We're going, going back, back in time, time to the first Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving to, to get, get turkeys off the, the menu. menu. They then go inside this shed, and after some funny slapstick, they stumble into the secret time machine location, complete with an Auntie Anz and Hi, Old Navy. Old I mean, whatever gets the budget back, I guess. And then, long story short, they come across some guards who end up trying to kill them, while at the exact same time, a time machine is being activated. So you can tell where this is gonna go. They run into the currently activated time machine, so some the wacky hijinks happen. And TLDR, they steal the time machine, and they travel back in time to the first, first Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Greetings. I am S-T-E-V-E. -E. Is that George Takei? Oh my. So the George Takei time machine takes them back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkey off the menu. Once again, this movie is absolutely fucking unhinged. But then they're chased by dogs and this guy. So now we're ripping off open season. Okay, cool. But Lightning McCock is saved by woman. So we get the obvious love interest, the whoopee. And also the bad guy is Australian, even though the pilgrims were English. Yeah. Favorite. Meanwhile, the good guy turkeys run into the Native American turkeys. So I guess the turkeys are commentary on Native Americans. Oh man, oh man, the bread tubers are gonna love this one. So they return back to their base and are all like, we gotta attack the humans. And there's conflict and whatever, and uh, yeah. Cut to the humans. Who are very, very hungry and need food. It's also established that Native Americans themselves also exist in this universe. That will be all of us. We do not become friends with the Indians. So they're just two kinds of Native Americans in this universe. Universe, I guess. Oh, and this character is William Bradford, by the way, a real person. And so is the bad guy Hunter. He's meant to be Miles Standish. So they went out of their way to choose real pilgrim historical figures. But then they gave one of them an Australian accent for no reason? <laughs> what? We then get really shitty romance, I guess. So, Alpha Turkey up there, or what's the story? You two, um, rubbing waddles, or? Ew, no, Ranger is my brother. And, you know, even if he wasn't, I'm looking for more mind and less muscle. Wow. Wow, that is on the nose. So they go to the secret turkey tree and meet up with Keith David. You know, uh, fucking Julian from Saints Row. He's the leader of the turkeys, and he's all like, we will not fight the humans, we want to peace and shit. And uh, that's about it. Meanwhile, Dutch Vanderlins are like, man, I have a plan to do evil shit, and that's also about it. We gotta go back in time to get turkey on the menu, Dutch! So we get romantic tension and comedic hijinks, and that's about it. A lot of it just being kind of slapstick humor. I always thought in the future there would be harmony between all living things, but hey, Pizza and TV sound great. Wait, how the fuck do you know what pizza and TV are? Well, then these two get chased by dogs, I guess. So Lightning McQueen puts the girl turkey into George Takei, which is indeed a thing I just said. But the bad guy finds out they're in a time machine. So the good guys escape, and the bad guy thinks it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> Lightning McQueen then shows the woman Earth and its romantic tension, I guess. They then return to Earth, and uh, yeah, but Lightning McCock is about to go home, but he simps for his girlfriend, and that incentivizes him to stay. Look, man, Turkusi is the whoa, best incentive. So a bunch of scenes later, the one big turkey pulls Lightning McQueen aside and reveals that he grew up in a cold turkey factory. And he was tasked with escaping with some eggs. But then, uh-oh, he failed and lost <laughs> some eggs. But then this is where he meets the great turkey, who tells him to go back, back in, in time. time. And after this exposition, they then invade the human's fortress, I guess. And they blow up two of their weapons facilities. And everything is all good in the hood. Until it isn't, and one of the fuses epic fails. And all the bad guys are led to 
the turkey good guys. Oh, no. Leading to all the turkeys getting captured. As well as Keith David dying. No, not the Amateur. There's then this somewhat out of nowhere emotional scene. Why is the tone suddenly like this? Your movie's about turkeys that go back in time to stop Thanksgiving. Why do we have this God of War 2018 funeral scene all of a sudden? And then the female turkey becomes the chief of the turkeys, I guess. This makes the main character sad for some reason while the other turkeys go out and fight. And he's about to leave, but Woody Harrelson is all like, you gotta stay! But the main characters are like, no, I need the third act conflict. You know, it wouldn't be a generic animated movie if we didn't have generic narrative tropes. At the very last minute, too, it's like reading a college student's work cited page. But then when he arrives home, he encounters himself. And he's all like, you're an idiot. Go back in time and fuck the girl. And another one comes down and he's all like, your girlfriend's in trouble, bro. Then he realizes he has the doorknob the whole time. And it turns out that he's actually the great turkey the whole time. So he goes to Woody Harrelson. And he's all like, you must find the pardon turkey. However, here's the thing. How did Woody Harrelson find out about the Thanksgiving shit in the first place? How did the main character, did these two meet in an alternate timeline? If something needs to happen for this time loop to happen in the first place. This is a super massive plot hole. What the fuck? This third act is really falling apart. However, we do get the greatest line of all time. Those are some angry birds. So Reggie comes back and fixes the timeline with fucking pizza? What? Yeah, the movie ends with the main character giving humans pizza. Huh? So they're giving pilgrims and Native Americans fucking Chuck E. Cheese's pizza? And that's how they get turkey off the menu. Um, okay? The main character also learns the true value of friendship, and by that I mean he wants to fuck the girl. So he stays behind as Woody Harrelson leaves and we get a George Takei, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, and that's the whole movie. Hey, I'm done cyberbullying. Holy shit, can you shut up? You are obnoxious. But look, I'm really showing this person what- <laughs> Now that all that fucking shit is over, that was certainly a movie where they go back in time to the first Thanksgiving. I mean, overall, it is another derivative animated movie. But part of me liked the insanity of it. There are just so many weird, wild choices in this movie, and it kind of worked in the movie's favor. With a plot as goofy and as silly as this, I see no reason to not go all out. And surprisingly, the humor in the first third of the movie is pretty funny. I like that out of left field kind of humor. Oftentimes, though, the film will go back into that derivative pit, forcing the old friends we made along the way moral story or a forced love interest. Like, your movie's about turkeys that go back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkey off the menu. The more derivative elements not only act as a tonal whiplash, but they also make the movie more generic, removing any kind of appeal this movie would otherwise have. Overall, this movie is very mediocre, but it's also very weird, and it's kind of charming that way. It's the most memorable 5 out of 10 I've ever seen. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get back to the future. <laughs> Man, that shit was crazy. You just went back in time and watched some dumbass movie. Yeah, I did. Hey, bro, can I use that shit next? Oh. I gotta go back to 2005. Uh, why is that? Duh, cause that's when Family Guy Live in Vegas is. Well, now I'm at risk of a drug addiction and depression. Hey, bro, don't worry. I got some drugs on the DL if you can't hear hey, that shit'll get you fucked up for cheap. Well, uh, you know what? I always spent my life in fear, worried of the consequences of smoking marijuana. However, this year, I learned it's really about family, and I'm feeling like a family guy. Merry Christmas, everyone! I guess this is the Christmas special now. Uh,
Oh, wait, hold your dick. I just got my friend Stewie to build you a whole ass time machine and you're not gonna pay me? Man, I'm tired of this shit. Guinea pig that smokes weed? That shit cray cray the good way right there. Yeah, that's why I'm walking out the hill. When they saw some